Okay, I made a video approximately seven-ish months ago. Yeah, this is inside out, but I'm not sad. Um, about how, why I took a lower salary job and how money isn't everything. But if you watch the video, which I'll link below, money is fucking everything. But I didn't factor it into the decision process of the job I was taking. And the reason is because go watch the video below. However, um, one of the reasons, which I'm gonna get into now, is that I was getting paid less than I, like $5,000-ish. I, I took a lower salary job because I like kinda like weighed the pros and cons, and the pros were um, my job currently feeds me, lets me wear whatever the fuck I want, lets me work from wherever the fuck I want, and straight up told me that I was eligible for bonuses, raises, and I mean, they handed me a laptop, I got my own MiFi internet, I got my own company phone, like, people don't understand that those are always not common things in a job, and the Wall Street job, which paid, uh, like $5,000 more, was just not communicating those things if they were offering them, so I picked the lower salary job, and now it's, yeah, like I said, uh, I want to say seven months later, and... I literally got a promotion slash raise that recouped that difference right there. So, I already, I, I'm impressed by my, like, luck. I mean, I knew I was eligible for bonuses and raises. I just didn't know that this shit was going to happen, like, like I wanted it to, if you will. So, um, I got, ended up getting a $7,000 bonus. And I love it, obviously, more money is awesome. So money doesn't mean as much as the quality of life you're living within a job because yes, guess what? At the end of the day, if you're miserable at your job, no amount of money is gonna make you feel better. No, like it's just not. And that's a sad reality because at the end of the day, money is everything. I don't like, like, it just is everything. It, for example, if I took this lower paying job like I did and I was unhappy in a year and I wasn't even making what I wanted to but still like making, like eating their food, um, I would start to look for another job because at the end of the day, like money makes the world go around. Money makes me go around. Money makes my family and friends go around. I mean, I don't know about you, but like how many times do you go out with people and it's like, I can't afford that. Or how many times you want to book a trip and they can't afford it, you can't afford it, or, or, it happens all the fucking time, and for me personally, I have a setup in my life where it's like, if you want to go on a trip with me, I'm ready, let's go, I'm down, um, if I want to invest in a motorcycle, or a new car, or, um, anything really, I can take care of myself, and yeah, call it a day, good for me, yes, but it sucks that, like, all of the plans that involve other people, include money and it's like if they don't have money we don't have money because we can't go on said trip or we can't buy cool awesome new toy and it really does dictate everything and it really <laughs> makes me fucking like duh money isn't everything no money is everything money is fucking everything okay unless you're rich if you're rich and you have money and 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 you're not happy it's it's because it's because the other shit in your life is shitty, and, and that shit matters. But I don't even know if that sentence makes sense. But money is everything. Money pays your rent, pays your bills, feeds you, clothes you, your children, your family. And at the end of the day, when somebody needs anything and somebody has a problem, 85 to 95% of the time, you can solve it with fucking money. So money makes the world go around. And there are certain situations where you need to be strategic about that mentality. And one of them for me, because I can only speak to myself, was in deciding which job I was going to take. So go back in time, back into November of last year, and I'll put the video below. And you go through my thought process about how I was planning out my strategy for my new job at the time. And here it is in real life, like fruition like mentality like drive for money and not money and and how i wait it out is 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 falling into place as i live it right now and i'm sharing it with you but at the end of the day money does make the world go around and i already know that 
I'm, I'm not a dick for saying that. I'm just not. I'm just not. When I got my kids, sorry, my young, my younger siblings, when I got my younger siblings, you know, wanting to get the new, the newest Nikes. No. Is that fucking necessary? No. Does it make them cool? Yeah. Do I care if it makes them cool? No. But I like to have the ability to, to give them Nikes that are awesome and $175 because the fuck makes sneakers. This is why I wear kid sizes. But anyways, like just to be able to have the ability to make my friends and to make my family and to make whoever I am with happy for whatever reason, if it's for a day or a second, and maybe they just want my time. Maybe that's all they want. But what are we gonna do? Live, like, what are we gonna sit in a dark cardboard box and, and look at your Nikes? No, no. Money makes the world go round. You're a fool to think otherwise. And if you're rich and fucking living the dream, and you're unhappy, well, that's just because, like, you know, you have relationship issues, and that's just how it is. But, I'll link the video below. This is, like, six months, seven month progress about why I took the lower salary job. And this is kind of a half-ass shitty update, and that's because I've been on vacation and fucking doing shit. And that's all I gotta say. Oh, I can't wait for fall. I love Halloween. I'm going to NOLA. And if you have any suggestions for New Orleans and what I should eat and where I should go and what I should do besides bang the fuck out of everybody. I'm just playing. That's not even a joke. Kind of a little bit. Um, that's all I gotta say. Ah, we're done!